in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 37 the bible says do not judge others and god will not judge you do not condemn others and god will not condemn you forgive others and god will forgive you so the bible talks about judging others kuhukumu maana kuna watu wako na mazoea ya kuhukumu watu wengine kuna watu wako na mazoea ya kutazama tu yale maovu ambao wengidhao wanafanya so the bible says that if you condemn if you judge if you judge your friend if you judge your neighbor if you judge your enemy if you judge your brother or your sister or your parent also god will do what will judge you so what you can do is that you avoid judging other people instead of judging somebody it is better you pray for this person he or she pray for them so that they can change from their bad behavior tusiwe na mazoea ya kuhukumu watu tusiwe na mazoea ya kuongea maovu ya watu kuna mtu unapata ya kwamba ana hukumu wenzake wakati mtu anakosea yuko tayari kumhukumu yuko tayari kuongea maovu ya yule mtu but the bible says do not judge others and god will not judge you kwa hivyo tukikuwa na mazoea ya kuhukumu watu naye mungu aliye juu mbinguni atatuhukumu atatuhukumu na tukitaka ya kwamba tuepukana na hukumu kutoka kwa Mungu ni ya kwamba tuache kuhukumu watu ukiona mtu amekosea badala ya kumhukumu na kuongea vibaya kwake ni vizuri kufanya nini kumuombea pray for this person <coughs> muombe ili Mungu akafanye nini ambadilishe usianze kusema oh fulani naona vile anatembea atapata ukimwi mwingine ako tu kuangalia mtoto wa mwenzake akimuona na kijana fulani anasema eh hey, kijana fulani siku hizi atapata ukimwi siku hizi amepotea wengine katika ndoa tuko tu kuhukumu ndoa za wenzetu tunasema vile hazitaka tunasema vile ya kwamba zitaisha so the bible says that do not condemn do not judge and it also says that eh uh, do not condemn others and god will not condemn you so condemn yani unaona mtu ni kama yeye ndiye amekosea unaona mtu yeye ndiye afai you are condemning this person usiku na mchana unaangalia tu vile anatembea unaanza kusema huyu ataisha hiyo ni mbaya tukitaka mungu asitukondem tukitaka mungu asituhukumu then it is better don't condemn others forgive others and god will forgive you musama inamaanisha nisipokusamea ukinikosea i must forgive you for me to be forgiven by god na maandiko haijasema makosa ambayo umekosewa ile baadhi ya makosa yenye unafaa kusamea samea makosa yote uwe umetusiwa ume, uwe umedharauliwa uwe umekashifiwa uwe ya kwamba umechapwa forgive why because human being tunakoseanga kila wakati na wakati ambapo umekosea ili ya kwamba Mungu akusamee ni lazima pia na wewe usame wenzako na Mungu atakubariki kwa hivyo ya kwamba mtazamaji wangu it is better don't judge it is better don't condemn it is better you forgive yule ambaye amekukosea usiseme oh huyu naona ataangamia nini hapana just forgive and forget musamee tu from inside your heart musamee tu naye Mungu ataweza kukusamea Mungu atakuinua wale watu ambao wako na tabia ya kusamea wenzao Mungu huwa anawainua lakini ukiwa mtu wa kubeba watu kwa moyo then maisha itakuwa ngumu because moyo wako ni wa kubeba Kristo sio kubeba mwanadamu sio kubeba wale ambao wamekukosea na wakati ambapo umebeba mtu katika moyo wako utapata ya kwamba stress itakumaliza ulcers magonjwa pressure utakuwa na mapressure so if you want to stay a better life kuwa, kuwa na mazoea ya kusamea watu usibebe watu katika moyo usiweke watu katika moyo wako forgive them and forget but if you don't forgive God will not forgive you. If you judge me or you judge your friend, unaanza kusema vile kataisha, vile nini unamuona sikuiza yuko sawa, ataenda kwa dhambi, then God will judge you. God will condemn you. God will not forgive you. Just forgive and forget.